Hey guys, it's John or Centric here, and I'm gonna bring you guys a tutorial on um how to do some auto key framing. So right now we're just gonna create a new new one. I'm gonna create a new file, and I'm actually gonna um open up. Let's see, file open. Let's go down to my desktop. I just tried to make a um little logo for me. So I'm gonna open it up, and this is kind of like a two-part tutorial. So I might come out with a tutorial soon um, on how to use the pen tool in Photoshop. But um, for those of you who do know how to use this in Photoshop, um, you might know that you can um, kind of like put it into Cinema 4D. Um, like with the pen tool, you can trace around it and export it. So what you want to do from here for this is just for those people that know how to do that. So like I said, I'm probably gonna come out with a tutorial soon on how to do it. So I'm gonna add my untitled one into my extrude nerves, and that makes it 3D. Then I'm gonna come up here. Let's put the right here is actually where you're gonna change the depth. Put it to 100 just for this pur just for these purposes. So I'm gonna come down here. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys today is how to use the auto key framing, which is this right here. So you're going to want to click your extrude nerves or your mo graph or your mo text or whatever you're using. And you're going to come down here to this automatic key framing and you want to click it. Now this red ring should appear around your project file and that means that you're in auto key framing. So in on your first frame you want to have frame zero click the little key button right here then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag it all the way out here actually what I'm gonna do for tutorial purposes is make the frames to 60 oh oops that's 500 60 so I'll just have it at 60 and then you're gonna what I'm gonna do is we'll make it do a little bit of rotation here so I'm going to find out which way it rotates it, which is going to be the x-axis. Because as you saw down here, it um was changing the b down here, which, oh no, I'm sorry, the z-axis, which is the rotation axis from left to right. So now that you see right here, it inserted a keyframe. Now I don't want this, so I'm going to click it and press the delete button. We're going to pull it back here. So now we're going to come down here. Let's do 1080, which is um, three 360s. And then we're going to click Apply, and that's going to create a uh, keyframe there. So when we play it through, it's going to look like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it down a little bit more so that when it comes in, it won't be going off the screen. So yeah. And the auto keyframing records whatever you're um, doing in here. So you can like um go to the movement one, move it back and forth, pull it up, and then like you want it to come down, move it down like that, and um however you want, and the automatic keyframe will record it. Um you can change the size of it. What I do here, I think I went in. Like I guess you can change the size of it and everything. So you can do a lot without a keyframe and it's a lot easier than manual keyframing. So okay. Now you guys can't tell this this is says um C and then it says D for concentric design. So I'm just playing around with some logos. Then I wanna come up to your render settings. I'm just gonna make this like a YouTube avatar, eight hundred. Uh, we'll keep the put the revolution to 720. I don't really exactly know what it does, but I saw someone do that, so I don't know. I'll just play around a little bit. Save. Now this is where if you're gonna make it into a um movie, you're gonna come down. I mean, intro. You're gonna want quick quick time movie, and this really helps you for um like just creating stuff. I mean, I'm sorry, creating intro. It's late here. It's 11:37, so I'm pretty tired, and I just got off of school. So you can add ambient occlusion and everything, but I'm just gonna keep it short and simple. 
So let's come down here and do a pre-render. So it's going to look a little bit like that. We'll just make sure it's playing right too. Oh, okay, we're going to want to click student herbs. What happened to our auto key for me? Okay, I think I did something here. Okay, let's come back here. Click the auto key framing. Click rotation. 1080. Apply. Come off auto key frame. Okay. There we go. I think what I did was, um, when I was playing around with it, when I was moving the object, I pressed control Z. And I think it might have got rid of the key frame. Okay. So now you're going to come up here and render it. And I already did a little trial of this, so I'm just going to rewrite it over. And if you guys haven't figured out, when you render something, all the frames will come into here. And you can, um, if you just want to get rid of them, click it and press delete. Delete our save files, say yes. Um, there's the one that I pre-rendered to. Okay. Oops. Okay. Another key point here, which I just messed up is um you're gonna when you do your render settings again for when you're doing an intro come up to output change your frame range to all frames so you can see it changing from 0 to 60 now, that's if you're in problems rendering so probably had something wrong okay I'm going to rewrite it and I'm going to get rid of these files I don't need them Okay, so as you can see, without having any effects on here, it renders pretty quick. So, you should be able to play this through when it gets to 60. I think the next tutorial I'm going to do is probably selections for colors. Um, that basically like wraps this up, wraps this tutorial up. Um, so here, you can see if we come in a little bit closer and we play it through. You can see it just easily rotates through. And you can do some pretty nice stuff with this. Say you wanted to just make a square rotate and then like I don't know. I don't know. Say you wanted to like make a square come out of nowhere, drop down here, bounce up and down, then rotate a few times, then fly out of the scene. You'd probably do that fairly easier than like doing um regular just regular keyframing. Okay, so that about wraps it up for this tutorial. And I'm just going to come down here and show you guys that it did render. And I guess I think this is the one. Oh, no, that's the wrong file. Okay, well, you guys saw it in the rendering, so I'll just play it again. And um, down here, you can like play the rendering and stuff they just rendered. And this is the final product. Like I said, you can add ambient occlusion and everything in here and make it look a lot neater and nicer and everything. But for just what we're doing, um, it gives you the basic idea of everything. So yeah. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope it helps guys. Peace.